Hey guys, so today I'm going to just talk about will modern be affordable ever? Question mark. Uh, modern, in my opinion, will never ever be affordable. And here's my uh, here's my argument for this. When one card goes down, two cards go up. And that's because the demand, the supply, I mean, economically what happens is when you buy a Tamagorf, you, can, you have an option. You can choose to sell your Tamagorf or you can open packs, maybe get more Tamagorfs. And a lot of people actually, if more people choose to try to complete their set of Tamagoyfs, then people are selling their Tamagoyfs when they're opening them, then the supply is not actually meeting the demand. The demand is uh, outtaking the supply and therefore the price point will rise. So like a little bard craft, right? In Economics 101. Uh, wow, Economics 101 I took, um, I said like eight years ago. Yeah, freshman year of college. No, more, is it? Yeah, more than eight years ago. I think nine years ago. Wow, crazy. Uh, ten years ago. No. Yeah, maybe nine, ten. Anyway, that's besides the point. So what happens, what I feel happens to modern is when a card, it gets reprinted, like a Vendillion click, then the Snapcaster Mage for the same deck goes up in price. And there was a report, and I made a video about how modern decks went up 25% after Modern Masters 2, and that wasn't surprising because that's probably what it did. I don't know if that's someone crunched the numbers, but I feel like uh, the cards also increased in price. The deck, the cost of a deck also increased in price for Modern Masters 1. The main reason that this is the case, um, I feel like eventually when you have a hype, so like Pogs or anything like, I remember Pogs and Pokemon cards and there's not enough Pokemon cards to go around, those cards get kind of valuable. But remember, Wizards of the Coast essentially has a printing press or a money press where they at any time can reprint these cards should they want to. Now, when when I was playing Pokemon, there was, you know, the Charizard was the best card and I don't even know if it was a good card. Uh, honestly, Electro Buzz was a lot better if you wanted to win games, but if you're playing Pokemon, Charizard is a card that you want to get. And... Um, there was different versions of it. There was like unlimited, like shadowless, like shadow, like all different types of variants. But when you have a heavy demand for a card, a booster pack, and they're being sold extremely at high prices, like Modern Masters 2 and 1 were sold at and still are being sold at, then what you're doing is you're saying, okay, these cards are available, but these other cards are not. Therefore, these other cards, Snap, Liliana, Ink Moth, Nexus. So when you look at, hey, they printed that uncommon that we kind of need. What, Vines of the Fastwood for Infect? Nice, yeah, uncommon used to be five bucks. Now it's like a quarter. Well, well, now your Ink Moth Nexus used to be eight bucks. Now it's 25 bucks. Your Cavern of Souls is more expensive. So you will always have this um, trend where magic cards no matter what happens to no matter what gets reprinted as long as not everything is reprinted whatever is not reprinted will go up in price and that is kind of what's controlling the modern price right now is a speculator can say okay i know for a fact that zendikar festlands are not going to be reprinted anytime soon or i very much believe that fact let me put my money into those lands and hope they go up in price and that's exactly what you've seen happen and the reason I know it's the way, the reason I know speculation is being done in this case, um, it's very clear because modern PTQ season is winding down. It is, like it's just modern season's almost over. It's gonna be over soon. And yet the price of these cards that you need to play with are increasing, doubling sometimes, or going from 20 to 80% increase in price, there's something kind of like there's a question mark. What is going on here? So um, the Fetch Lands will take most of the downturn. So the Fetch Lands, Lily, Snap, Cavern of Souls, you know, all these other cards that are not that are safe from reprint are going to take a the brunt of the cost. And they're going to spike more than your savings. And that's going to be true for most decks. Uh, and to use my Pokemon analogy a little bit more, it's kind of like when you have one Charizard, what is the 
last, what is the next thing you want to do? You want to get four Charizards, right? Even a little kid knows that, right? Like even like when I was, I don't know, like 10 years old, when I pulled my first Charizard, the first thing I could think about is I need to get more of these Charizards um, to make a deck, right? To make the deck I want to make. And yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much the nature of the beast right now. And that's why modern decks will never ever, like Taylor Swift says, they will never ever go down in price. I made that, you know, go down price up. The Taylor Swift didn't say that part. Bye guys.